The bullet killing him entering his body through the bulletproof vest that he was supposed to, was actually designed to protect him. And police officials cast doubt that any vest would have saved him, and hundreds of officers wear that vest every day. Ryan Matthew joins us live outside Metro Police headquarters tonight with the dilemma this poses to officers. Yeah, Brian Denise, not all bulletproof vests are created equal. The one that Officer Ty was wearing exposed parts of his body that left him partially vulnerable. And many officers nationwide wear similar vests that put them at the same risk of this same fate. Metro investigators say a gunshot wound to the abdomen killed Officer Trung Ty last week. In the side, um, the round penetrated his ballistic vest. Assistant Sheriff Andrew Walsh saying the bullet went through the side of Ty's bulletproof vest where his body was not protected. I don't know too many vests that will stop a 762 round. Steve Gramis is president of the Las Vegas Police Protection Association, a union representing thousands of Metro Police officers. An officer can't go out in a full tactical gear like a SWAT guy. So instead, officers wear vests like this, the Department of Justice labeling it protection level 3A that protects against most handgun rounds, but none from a rifle. The Clark County District Attorney describing the rifle pistol hybrid that 24 year old Tyson Hampton allegedly shot with as a gun used to quote, kill a lot of people. I don't think with what we saw, a different vest plays a role. I really don't. But why don't officers wear more protection? It would be probably the most uncomfortable thing that you could not put your arms down, you know? Along with how uncommon encountering a gun like this is, but the possibility still leaving officers at risk. There's potential for whatever they are wearing out on the streets to not be enough to protect them. Absolutely. Now he adds that Metro police officers do get a yearly clothing allowance, but that allowance is meant to cover several costs, uniforms, vests, tools every single year, and that could easily be exceeded as he says that the most expensive and protective vest on the market can go upwards of $1,500. Reporting live outside the Metro headquarters, Ryan Matthew, 8 News Now. So we reached out to other agencies here in the Valley on this. North Las Vegas police say they do provide a vest, but the officer must pay to upgrade if they want to. Nevada State Police adds they both purchase the vest and upgrade it every five years. And similarly, nationwide, the policy actually varies by agency.